How many times have you put dead end roads like this in your city's residential area and maybe even connected it to the main road with a path off the end? But you wish you could make your dead end road into a proper cul-de-sac like you've seen on Google Maps or out there in the real world? Ooh, scary. I've got three different ways to make a cul-de-sac in city skylines, one of which is completely 100% vanilla. Actually, let's start there in the vanilla game. First, Brutus wants you to see the sort of area we are trying to imitate. He really is the best dog, so thoughtful. Hold on a sec, Brew, we're going in game. To make the best vanilla cul-de-sac that I know how to make, I always start with the medium industry road. If you don't have the industries DLC, you can do it with this with the regular four lane road, but there will be a little visual in the cul-de-sac that I prefer to leave out if I can. So going to grab the medium industry road and I'm going to draw a full road. The purpose here is to get the zoning squares available and then I am going to zone. I would prefer at least a three by three, but we'll have to make do with the two by three here. And I'm going to let those buildings start to zone in. Now that they've zoned in, I'm going to pause the game and it's important to keep the game paused for the rest of this. So then I delete this road completely and I go back in and I draw another one as small as possible. So just a one unit road that attaches to both of these houses. Then from there, I will go back to our small roads and grab, I'll use the vanilla two lane road and bring it down. And this is a vanilla cul-de-sac. Brutus is at it again, wanting you to see how much fun he had snooping around the real world version of what we're about to create. Just sit tight, Brew. For our lazy or a little lackluster modded version, we will grab our regular road and draw it up until where you want the cul-de-sac to start. So right about here. And then I like to use these one lane tiny roads from the big urban roads. And I will either do one of two things. I will either draw the best circle that I can freehand like so and tidy it up with move it and that is that or with the same one lane tiny road I will use my roundaboot builder and I adjust my radius to 12 with this road you'll find what works for you best and I plunk it in. And if I'm feeling lazy and just want to get it done that's how I do a modded cul-de-sac. Finally, Brutus has sniffed out a real world example of when a dead end road like this has a path between it and the main road. What a superstar, Brew. I'll give him a treat while you see this in game. For my less lazy modded version, we are going to use the Big Suburbs Road 2 lane for this. I'm using this one right now because it doesn't have any street markings where there are turning lanes. Then with the actual cul-de-sac road, I'm going to go back to the one lane tiny, control O for roundabout builder at the 12 radius and plunk it in. So this is very similar to what we had before, but here's where I actually put effort into it. Alt B for Bob with the Bob mod and I'm going to take out all of these dubers that are kind of in the way. So street lights gone. Speed limit 20 sign right there gone and the do not enter sign out of there. Next, I am going to go into ploppable asphalt and I like to use the, the circle one. I convert it to PO and plunk it down. First thing I will do is make one wide enough just by using page up on the scale to cover only that center part. Then back to the position and I bring it down as much as I can, which is apparently none in order to cover up visually that center circle. Then I will create a copy of it or you can just place down a new one. To create a copy with PO, you hold down your control button while you drag the position and it makes a copy. This one, I will make big enough to cover all of the inside circle of it. So I overdo it just to make sure that it's done. And then with the position of this one, uh, you can bring it down further than the previous one and it will cover the whole ground part. So I go like so, 
and I was watching here it was doing some finicky corner thingies so that looks weird right because the just the head of the cul-de-sac is a different color then I like to go back into my ploppable asphalt and I put down a bunch of these that will make this whole road that darker color like so there will be a seam somewhere you can cover that up with some decals you can do whatever you need to do to make this blend better and then up at the cul-de-sac itself you place the chosen houses that you would like to be around change up your longitude and latitude so that you can actually see the creation you've made and this is another cul-de-sac now you have seen so many creators i'm sure or you've done so yourself you've taken a path and you have connected it from these dead end roads or cul-de-sacs and you've brought it to your main road and maybe you're like me and you've thought man that kind of looks funny in game well i'm here to show you that this exists offline I hope you found this video helpful and maybe a bit entertaining with Brutus. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of City Skylines content. The city I used in this video is from a brand new small town autumn vibes series that I recently started with Yumble's minimalist highways map and the realistic population mod. On screen right now is the first episode in that series. Be sure to check it out next and gang, I will catch you next time. <laughs>